Hi everybody, this is Lars from CatCamStuff.com. I received an email from a guy who asked me how he could add a Haas machine to his uh, Camworks uh, list of machines. So I just want to make this video here um, and it's going to be tied into a blog post probably later on. Um, but before I just jump in to just show the steps to do it, I, I do feel like there's a couple of things that need to be covered before that. I'm not going to get too, in, too into depth with the technical stuff. Um, this is actually stuff that, that the reseller I work for, we normally will take care of all this stuff for you when you, when you, when you first start out with Camworks because it can become a little technical. I'm going to try to fly through it as quickly as I can. Before you add your machine to Camworks, you might want to get a hold of a post. Uh, so Camworks already comes with uh, a couple of generic posts in it when you open it up. Um, but if you need to get a specific post for a specific machine, you might want to get a hold of uh, you might want to get a hold of your uh, um, of your of your reseller and ask him. He should have some generic posts he can share for us. So let me just start out with the post thing. So the post things you get uh, with uh, with it here. I downloaded a Haas post. Uh, if you look inside the folder, you will see that there's a bunch of different files in here, and I'm just going to run over them very quickly. First thing here is a source file. This is where you can make a lot of the different uh, changes inside of it to, to, to modify your post if, if need be. Um, also, um, you will see that if you have your post modified by a reseller, or somebody else you might see that they don't include the source file back to you I'm a little bit against this because I do think that you know I don't think it really hurts anybody that, that you get the source file back so if you want to make modifications to the post yourself you can do it um, there is some library par uh, files here that's where the source file go out and grab some different stuff this CTL file is actually the post that that solo or the camera is looking for um, that is a compiled from these library files and the source file. Um, if you're going to me mess around with your post yourself, uh, if you go to Camworks website and uh, you go to uh, the, the download section, you will see over here to the left that there is a miscellaneous files download. Over here, there is uh, some uh, different uh, post processor source files, and there is also this uh, universal post generator you can use to either create a post or compile the post into to this STL format here. So this is the one you definitely in the library parts is definitely what you what you need um, uh, to uh, and the source file to, to do post modifications stuff like that. But get a hold of your post when you got a hold of the post. Uh, if you're not just going to use one of the generic ones, uh, what you want to do is you want to go and, and and copy these and do yourself a favor and just. Um, put it in your C. If you go to your C drive, and if you follow all the default locations for Camworks, uh, you would have a Camworks data right on your C drive, and in that one you will find a Camworks folder for whatever version you're running, and in here is a post folder. Throw it in here. Don't try to redirect it outside. Just put it in the generic area up here. That's really what I recommend. Uh, just put it in there. Um, and don't try to be be too creative with that path especially not network drives and and stuff like that so when you've done all this then uh, uh, you have your you're ready to add your machine now we can actually go in here into uh, to SOLIDWORKS and CAMWORKS and kinda like get it in uh, get it put in um, if I go in here and open up a file um, and I'm just gonna open up this block here um, I got the CAMWORKS add-on turned on um, you will see that I'm running the generic uh, setup as you're getting Camworks right out of the block here, and I just reset my registry and stuff like that. So I'm sorry for it's taking this while to open up this this part. It takes a little bit of time the first time you fire it up. Um, so you will see if we go over to the Camworks tab over here that I just got a mill set up here, and if I double click on it, um, you will see that I got the generic window here with a mill and mill inches set up here. It could be metric, whatever you kind of like have set up for down in your in your uh, units. Uh, this is what we want to change. We want to add a machine in here. So we are actually going to go into the technology database. So I'm going to go in and hit Camworks and go around and hit technology database. Technology database opens up and uh, we hit the mill icon right here and that will take us into the machine. I click here and now it's pretty much like working with uh, with access straight out. So right now we will see we have the two machines in here. 
right we got the two machines so all I do is I hit this little star down here and I now add my my next machine so I might want to make this my default machine so it's always this one here and uh, I'm gonna name this machine the Haas um, you could put in an ID this is not really important this is kind of important your post so if you click here it will look back to um, to that to the area where your post is set up and actually that is kind of like control I'm going to show that in a second because you can actually direct it to another directory but in here you will see I got a bunch of posts but this is where you will find that CTL post or the generic the generic ones are in here too so you can select whatever post you uh, you here want to use so I have a Haas right there you can select your machine duty for that goes back to your feet and speeds section there's a specification in here you can set the horsepower for your machine indexing don't forget about the help you can always read the help machine travel all this stuff here doesn't really do much for just if you gotta do standard programming but maybe you do want to set stuff up in here one of the things I like to point out is uh, Camworks actually put in your feed acceleration rate and deceleration rate good luck getting that out of your machine builder but um, uh, Camworks puts all this in here your turrets, so you can also set up tool crypts. Tool crypts is something that you can you can create your own tool crypts and stuff like that. That might be another a whole other video. And also, of course, your spindle speeds and stuff like that. Uh, how however much you have inside of your machine here, you can put that in. That's really all you have to do to set up your machine. Now, if I exit back here, and uh, we go into the mill operation here, double click on it, you will now see that our machine is selected. We can select it here. Uh, so now that machine is there and it's going to stay there until we change it. If we go over to the post processor tab, this is where you can actually see, you know, you could browse to another directory if you needed to. Um, but but in our case here, we are, we are set up for this. So that's really, this is really where, what, what you really need to, to, to set this stuff up and, and, and really get this going. Um, so um, I hope that you uh, find this video helpful to get your machine set up in there and it's pretty much the same thing for also your your uh, lathe and, and your mill turn so you're pretty much covered with that so into the technology database and 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 run it through there so that's pretty much that's pretty much it uh, any uh, comments or suggestions you are more than welcome to write uh, me uh, that is Lars L-A-R-S at catcamstuff.com thank you have a great day